Good Monday, gang. It's D here, your friendly neighborhood tattoo VO. Uh, time for some gratitude. And today I want to discuss something that uh, has been kind of going around the voice acting space for the last few days. It's a bit of a controversy. And that was comments made by the National Executive Director of SAG after Mr. Duncan Crabtree regarding non uh, union voice talent. Uh, using phrases like lesser. Uh, uh, you know, making inferences and implications that quality control and things of that nature are something that the union strives for, and that's why you should hire union, blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so a lot of people took issue with this. And then he went to, quote-unquote, apologize. And the apology just seemed to kind of double down and be uh, very backhanded. Uh, and that's my estimation and many, many, many other people's estimation. Look... Whatever you decide to do, whatever your thing is, and I understand he's got a lot of things on his plate. I admire the guy for what he's doing for the union. Um, but I got to take issue with the whole idea of, you know, union actors being the only real actors and blah, 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 blah. I was a card-carrying member of the union for over 10 years, okay? Uh, I found that for the voice acting side of things and the broadcasting side of things, I go back to when it was after a SAG. Yeah. It used to be the American Federation of Television Radio Artists first, Screen Actors Guild second. As SAG got more power, I felt that they were really focused more on on-screen folks and folks in the film industry in general, okay? And uh, to some extent also television industry, directors, producers, writers, etc., which is awesome. However, it is very difficult for everybody involved in such an industry to be properly represented and fought for by this union and that's where a lot of conflicts and things have happened over the years which is why a lot of folks like myself chose to leave said union and uh pursue our careers independently uh in the sense of you know not being a part of the union it doesn't make us scabs no one's going after union jobs or anything like that it's very unique from any other union because the bottom line for any union, as most people will tell you, if you've worked for a union, whether it's the carpenters union, plumbing union, things of that nature, iron workers, whatever, I have a lot of friends and family that have been a part of those things for many years. Number one rule of a union, you're there to protect and advocate for your members. So when you've got folks in the non-union space who are standing, you know, in solidarity with you, Mr. Crabtree and all the other folks in sag uh, don't insult them and don't spread misinformation by saying we are lesser and that we're eventually just that's like the only goal we have is to join the damn union because it's not true and again i'm someone who left after 10 years of being a part of it there are many other actors out there for multiple reasons who have no interest in joining the union right to work states there's a million things of that nature i could get into but i just want to say on the positive side of things i've seen so many people speak out in defense of non-union talent and uh including many many famous folks who are part of said union so i wanted to focus on that side of things the positivity and say thank you to all of you people out there who understand that just because someone is non-union does not mean they are lesser clients understand this too there are plenty of major clients from disney to nickelodeon to whomever who work with non-union talent in many different spaces so just uh let's keep things positive uh, again, Mr. Crabtree, I'm not here to insult you or anything of that nature, my friend. It's just, uh, I, again, I appreciate what you're doing for the cause. But uh, choose your words a bit more carefully, especially when you're representing people that speak for a living. Keep shining.